Hello everybody, welcome to our driveway. So here's the thing, we ran out of venues because they all closed, as you know, and so we are on the road, sort of. We're in our driveway. This is our Toyota Sienna minivan. So come on in, here's the stage. We'll take you on a little trip. All right, come on, let's have some music. Take one, one old wreck. Well, hi, everybody. Here we are back in our Toyota Sienna minivan on tour here in our driveway in Bertha, Colorado. <laughs> Woohoo! Woo and uh, At least we're back in the van again. It makes us so happy. That's right. That's right. <laughs> and so we're going to do uh, a tune that I wrote about, uh, well, uh, I'll, I'll let the words do the talking here. So a while back, Hannah and I were driving around out in the middle of nowhere in New Mexico. And there was this car coming at us. And as it went by, we noticed it was this old beat up wreck of a car. And it was towing another old beat up wreck of a car. A few minutes went by and a minivan came by towing another old minivan. It was the craziest thing, but this went on for a good 30, 40 minutes. It was just cars after cars. I finally looked over at Hannah, and I said, you know, that's my life story right there. One old wreck towing another. Well, you know, thinking about this, I began to realize how this was actually a perfect metaphor for my early years, way before I met Hannah. I have an interesting history with cars. I was actually born in a car on the corner of East Colfax and Peoria in Denver. That should give you a little insight into my childhood. And I owned eight cars from the age of 16 to 25. My first car was a 61 Chevy Biscayne. It had a short in the steering wheel, so every time I'd make a left-hand turn, the horn would honk. Just like that. Had a yellow VW Bug with a prolific gas leak, so I'd carry a little coffee can with me everywhere I'd go. When I'd stop, I'd put the can under the leak. When I'd come back, I'd pour the gas back in, and away I'd go. But my favorite of all those cars was a Volvo wagon. And it was my favorite because it wouldn't start unless the passenger would lift their butt off the seat. <laughs> Imagine explaining that on a first date. <laughs> so anyway, I had to write a tune about those old cars. This, one, this is one called One Old Wreck. I got the first car when I was 16, a rusty old Chevy, a seafoam green. Up on blocks, no battery, did not matter, was a Cadillac to me. I was one old wreck towing another. A lot of baggage and back just waiting to be discovered. Living on the edge, into the curves, what a thrill. Doing my best not to become roadkill. She was sweet 16 and built real nice Four on the floor with bright headlights She was so much better than my old scooter A 66 Plymouth Barracuda every once in a while To get her to go farther had to take out my hammer And smack her on the starter I was one old wreck towing another A lot of baggage and back just waiting to be discovered Living on the edge into the curves what a thrill Doing my best not to become roadkill. Pick it, Joe. Okay. Well, I had an old Volvo. Was pretty sweet. It would not start till the passenger would lift their butt off the seat. So I called click and clack and asked what should I do? They said just relax, enjoy the rear view. I was one old wreck towing another. A lot of baggage and back just waiting to be discovered. Living on the edge into the curves, what a thrill. Doing my best not to become Doing my best to have a little fun I'm a middle-aged man in my new minivan Doing my best not to become roadkill Whew! Well, I hope you all enjoyed that. We sure did. It's hot in there. 
You can check out our YouTube videos. Um, you can come check out our CDs and downloads on our website at AcousticEidolon.com. We miss you all terribly. Stay safe, and we look forward to our paths crossing again. Bye.